All Jefferson County school teachers who want to get a vaccine should have one by the end of the week. Other Kentucky districts are in the middle right now of vaccinations as well. But in Indiana, teachers are out of luck. Rose McBride tells us why Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb has not put them at the top of the list. After getting their papers and temperature checked, Hardin County High School teachers and staff entered the line of educators across Kentucky who are getting their COVID-19 vaccine. It's nice the teachers are second in line be behind the actual important people, you know, medical personnel. Governor Bashir has prioritized getting educators vaccinated in Kentucky. So have leaders in Ohio and Michigan and Illinois. But across the Ohio River, Governor Holcomb is taking a different approach. We are looking at the folks who are most at risk um, of dying and or being hospitalized. That means prioritizing Hoosiers who are 60 and older after health care workers. But that doesn't sit well with some educators. We have been pointing to what our neighboring states have been doing. Indiana Teachers Association President Keith Gamble wants students to have a stable school experience, which isn't possible when classes have to switch between remote and in-person based on the number of positive cases in a classroom or district. That is a disruption in the student's learning environment, but it's also a huge burden to working families. Classes in the New Albany Floyd County District have been disrupted, like Whitney Woods's at Greenville Elementary. We've had other students that have had to, you know, quarantine uh, because they have been close contacts with other students or other people in the building. Um, I've had that in my classroom. While she's glad educators in other states are getting their vaccines, she's been disheartened to see teachers in Louisville who have been teaching completely remotely get vaccinated before those in Indiana. It seems like we just aren't being valued for what we're doing because we've been fully in person since August. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.